anyway, um, I like some of his music. I, I don't I like pretty much all. like all of it. I mean, I there isn't one song on this CD that I just went, ooh, they should have cut that one. And I know he's got two, but um, the one I like the best is the one that's really long. Oh, yeah. Sandrivian Lullaby, is that the one? Yeah. See, I just, don't know that. She didn't like it because... Oh, she, then she, didn't, say, she didn't like Cuz. Cuz? Well, it's because, because it's like... Oh, yeah. It was too redundant. It wasn't, it didn't have the beat like a Dylan would have. No, it, he it, had it was, a lot of songs that didn't have much of a beat, but you weren't listening to the... Well, you were listening, to listening music, to but you Dylan. were listening mostly. I mean, this guy is a poet, just like Dylan is a poet. Dylan is a poet, and he—it's all about the lyrics. And although I'm deaf and I can't hear, but about half of them, <laughs> the half that I can hear, I really appreciate. And, and beside that, I do really like the music. And there's one song in here that has a lead in that sounds, speaking of the Doors, exactly like a song that I heard. A million times from the doors and See? he's a great guitarist and the back the backup I mean I Kate said that they were they did the um, recording in England which I thought was pretty impressive that somebody from Detroit would have the backing of a of a record label that would take them to England and do the recording so it's beautiful music has he done any records since he did those three and that that was it nothing but he's now touring, right? Yeah. And they made a movie about him? Yeah, they did a documentary. Oh, I read oh okay. It. Well, remember we were looking online this morning with David, and that, that we scrolled through it and it says resume. Yeah, 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 yeah. 2008, he was doing, he was on tour or something. Yeah. 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 And so, anyway, I'm impressed. And no, I do, I am too, I like him. It's just, you know, I listen to his music and I said, God, I wish I still, you know, smoke ganja. And, well, the thing is, know, it sounds, you know, I think it sounds real. lines, I mean, I would have really enjoyed his music. I think it sounds, <laughs> you could put this on the radio Western. now, and it wouldn't sound like it came from the 60s. No. I don't think. No. Uh-oh. -uh. And I, I was sitting here listening to the one, that one track I was supposed to listen to, and David said, is that now, or is that, you know, a long time ago? And I said, well, it was in the 60s. And he said, you know, that sounds, that sound, actually sounds pretty good. And this is coming from a guy who was sitting there. Looking up Andrew, uh, Segovia songs. Yeah. So he was my best. husband. Yes. And the uh, intellectual. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So. Anyway. No. Yeah. He did like him, which is unusual for David. Yeah. So that particular song, I really thought was interesting because it, first, I'm one of those people who listens to the music first and pays not any attention to the words. Because first of all, most of the time I can't understand, can't understand them. them, and and usually it's just background noise for me anyway. But um, take the back right turn. Having take the back right turn. <laughs> I always forget that I, I don't I don't listen to the lyrics. Yeah, it's a family. But joke. having having the Beatles to the paperback writer, I've used to say take the back right turn and drove mine and crazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's paperback That's writer, because, and I go, it isn't. It's because it. everything you did drove me crazy. I know. Anyway. But anyway, the, lyri the lyrics are remarkable in, in that. I mean, it's so tongue-in-cheek and... Well, and we just hope... He's kind of making fun of a group of people that, you know, we're part of. That we are. <laughs> but, you know, living here gives me an entirely different perspective than most people who live in the suburbs. It's not the same thing. And I think people were more paranoid about what was going on in the city in the 60s and 70s than they are now. We were right in the middle of it, where we were growing up. Well, no, we were Detroit to the south of what was going on. We were Detroit. No, that's no. I mean, that's a, I mean, it was 23rd. That was the bad part of Seattle. But, oh. Well, right. but I Martin mean, Luther King Way. We've Before it was Martin Luther King Way. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. But they've integrated so much of the suburbs into the city now that it's it's not quite the same thing, but at that point, people were like that. You know, I'm not. In fact, Don has partners that won't come down to this part of town because you never know what's going to happen down here. And I and I suspect they'd be good on this bus tour. <laughs> they would be very good on the bus tour. <laughs> they could that use a, a bus tour. I like that song. I like yeah. that song. Yeah. I like most of most of his I songs. Do some I don't, but some I do. The thing. You should listen to your full track. You'd probably like full track a lot. 
Yeah. Well, maybe it's when he comes to town and if, if he... He is coming we, to town and we're going to go. We should go. Mm -hmm. Then oh, we're talking about it. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. So we can and chase. We had to sit through 10 minutes of talking about you, so God damn it, we're going to go and see you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, okay. So we, anyway, we just, I decided that the, the Suburbia Buster, I could give it a nine because you can't dance to it. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. 